taking a look today at uh, TR3 fuel line from the fuel pump to the carburetors. Quite a long time ago I recall having some issues with leakage at the fuel pump. This uh, ferrule and nut are uh, stock and uh, could not get that to stop leaking at that time. I jammed this into the fuel pump. It's a combination of uh, this flare fitting to pipe thread and then pipe thread back to flare. Sorry the light isn't that good today. So my fuel line came into here with the flare nut connection and this I just turned the whole assembly. I seated this in the fuel pump and and by precision tightening I pointed this straight up and the fuel hose attached to it. Now seeking a more stock appearance and function I bought this round shape of tube from Moss Motors. You can see their tag on that. Not a bad product. I don't like the color. It's not uh, silver metal looking. It's got like a bronze color to it. It's got writing on it every every inch there's there's writing on it which clearly isn't stock and it came with this nut and this ferrule now with the ruler we can see that the hold that there the stock nut was about five eighths inches long and the ferrule made almost an inch total here. Looks like seven eighths of an inch at least uh, total. The stock ferrule was very long and I remember not being able to find a long ferrule like that. What Moss is selling, and it's not a bad arrangement, they've got a nut that's a little longer. The nut is a tad over five eighths inches long and then a shorter ferrule but again it adds up to just a tad under one inch long in overall length which is important you can only tighten this nut until this hits the fuel pump and you can tighten it no more so the length of this determines how securely you can jam and compress the ferrule into the fuel pump so again, uh, not wanting to try to straighten this round line and it's the wrong color and it's got writing on it its whole length, I bent my own brake line. That's enough of the ruler. I bent my own brake line to match the shape of the stock uh, pipe, actually off of another engine. But I've got that stock shape now in the brake line material. I added this bend here to go around the heater pipe and I came up a little higher here maybe more so than I wanted to but I wanted a little more clearance for getting that number three spark plug out. So this didn't take very long and if I have to do it again it won't be the end of the world. I'm paying I think it was $34.95 just to get this nut and this ferrule was uh, a bit steep but I'm not complaining I mean that was the price and I chose to purchase that I don't know if they're getting these ferrules machine special just for Moss Motors or if uh, that's available in some catalog for 59 cents I just don't have time to go look for it thanks and be sure to watch my other videos